Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this episode, we're going to finish up talking about our footers on our pages and also our legal pages. And I want to go back to the SMTP. I kind of glossed over just using an ST SMTP footer. And so this is what uh, ClickFunnels suggests that you use for your SMTP footer. So I, I copied this out and I put it into a text element. And so that's right here. I broke it out a little bit better so we can see what we actually have. So they have a center tag, which will center it inside of your, inside of your email. And then we have your company name, address, state, zip code, phone number. You probably don't need to put in your phone number. And then they have another paragraph tag. And inside of that, they have a hyperlink. That's what we get here when we go A space href, href equals unsub. And what this does is this creates the unsubscribe link on your page. It's probably more important than anything else, but you want to have your company name, your address, and definitely this unsubscribe link. And all you have to do then is just copy this code out of here and go back into your SMTP settings. And we'll click down here in SMTP footer and we will paste it in and that's all you need to do besides hit save you just want to put this in here so that you got your company name your address like i said probably don't need the phone number unless you want it in there and then very important this whole unsubscribe line just click on save and you're good to go so now let's look at the final thing and that is your footer inside of your email itself. So you can use the SMTP and if you use the SMTP you don't need to do what I'm going to show you right now. But what I like to do is actually create the footers myself inside of here. And of course here's another thing you could possibly do. Uh, is you could set this up with your legal pages as well. So you could have your terms of service and your disclaimer. You could put that right in here as well by duplicating this line right here. And instead of unsub, you would put the the um, address to the, the URL to your disclaimer page, your privacy policy page, your terms of service page. And then in here, you would type in what it is. So this would be terms of service, this would be uh, privacy, whatever there. So your URL goes here and the words you wanna see on the screen would go right here. So you could do all of this right inside the SMTP and never have to worry about putting it inside of your email at all. But if you want to do it inside of your email, I have a setup here exactly like we did in the first two videos. So if you didn't watch those two, go back and check it out. We just have the company name. We have the a real marketing site. Actually, this should be cfninjahacks.com. So let me put that in there. I never noticed I had that mistake. So cfninjahacks.com, a real marketing site. Real marketing is my LLC. And then all rights reserved. And what I did down here at the bottom is different than what I did before. In the other one, I did a navigation element. Here I did actual individual links. So I typed in the words terms of service, a space, this up and down bar, another space, privacy policy, etc., etc., and then another line here where I put in the unsubscribe. And then for each one, of course, you then just put in your hyperlink up here again at the top, which is the link to the page itself. Now, in this case here, you can't use the click pops because this is inside of an email and it wouldn't have anywhere to click pop. So here you use the actual page itself. So you go back to your legal pages and instead of pulling up the click pop code, code. You go to your privacy policy page like we have here and you would copy out this URL right here and this is what you're going to put into that box. So when we come down here and we click on it, we had privacy policy this time. So let's click on the privacy policy, click on the pencil, and then up at the top, you would paste in the URL for that privacy policy. As you see right here, it says privacy policy. And then below that, I have another link to ClickFunnels and affiliate link so I can hopefully get somebody to sign up underneath me. And at the very bottom, I put in here copyright again and the at sign, et cetera, et cetera, and the address. So that's it. It's pretty simple to set up. You could do the same thing here. Let me, uh, let me just make sure 100% before I say that. Let me see if there is a navigation element. And that might have been why I did this because there may not be a navigation element. 
and that appears to be why. So there is no navigation element, so I did set it up this way. But I'll tell you, after looking at this again, I'm thinking that really the best way to go is really the SMTP because you can put in the other links to the terms of service and privacy policy and even a support email. You could put all of those right into your SMTP and never have to worry about uh, putting that at the bottom of your footer. Because unlike the pages as well, you cannot create a template of this, but you can create a template of the entire page. So you could create a template of the page with your standard footer at the bottom, any kind of text links that you would want above it, like you've seen in, in some of the other ones, like uh, Russell has on a lot of his stuff and Steve has on, on a lot of his. But what you're going to... What you're going to do then is just build it right into the bottom. So it's all up to you on either way that you want to do it. So that's it for setting up our legal pages and our footers. If you have any questions on this, reach out to ClickFunnels Support. Have a great day.